Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for stopping by the channel. So for this video, we're going to be checking out some sailcloth straps from the company's Straps Co. In particular, I have one right now on my Tudor Pelagos, and I also have some of their other straps fitted to some other timepieces in my collection. And what I really like about Straps Co. is that their headquarters is based in Montreal, Canada. So shipping in North America is really quick and you're not paying like a ton of import fees if you buy sailcloth straps from other manufacturers like Artem who are based in Australia. And towards the end of the video as well, we're going to check out their strap sorting binder. I actually think this is a really cool storage solution. If you're like me and you just happen to have like dozens and dozens of straps filling up your dresser drawer. So let's flip perspectives now and you guys can take a closer look at these straps and this binder in the studio. So now that we're in the studio, we can take a closer look at these sailcloth straps from Straps Co. And as you can see, I have a few of my personal timepieces here on the left. I got the Pelagos, I got my Damasco DS30, and then I got my Longines 39mm Legend Diver. And they're all hooked up with these sailcloth straps. And then of course, a little later, we're going to talk a little bit about this pebbled leather strap holding binder. And if you're actually looking on the website, guys, um, these straps and the binder actually fall under their Desari branding. And I think Desari is considered their more upper echelon of products. And of course, I'm going to link down to their website in the description of this video if you guys want more information or if you want to make a purchase uh, after this review concludes. So let me just get started with uh, this uh, blue sailcloth strap. It's a navy blue hooked up with my Tudor Pelagos, and I think this is a really cool pairing. Uh, I'm going to use this one to explain uh, some of the universal specifications for all the straps, and then I'll show you guys some of the other color options as well. So in terms of length, all the straps will be the same length. Um, the long portion here is 125 millimeters, and the short portion with the uh, pin buckle is 75 millimeters. And I think this will accommodate a lot of different wrist sizes down to like a six and a six and a quarter inch wrist all the way up to eight inches should not be a problem. Um, all of them come with a stainless steel, which is 316L um, pin buckle, which is all brushed, but very nicely constructed. You get one fixed keeper and one floating keeper for all of these straps. And I'll also mention that regardless of the width at the head of the watch, it's a two millimeter taper down to the buckle. So in the instance of the Pelgos, if I flip it over, you can see that there's a 22 etched into the underside of a strap because it is a 22 millimeter lug opening for the Pelagos. And I also like that all the straps come equipped with quick release spring bars, so you don't need any specific tools to um, fit these straps between your watch head. And I'll also quickly mention the thickness because there's a bit of padding um, towards the head of the watch. So it's about 3.6 millimeters in thickness here. And then as you go towards the tail end, it does trickle down to about 2.3 millimeters. So again, a um, bit of a taper here. And I will say these straps are slightly stiff when you get them out. But uh, after wearing it for a while, it does break in quite nicely. Um, so it's not as supple right out of the box as, say, something like an Artem sailcloth strap. And I mentioned Artem because I know a lot of YouTubers have reviewed their products in the past. And in fact, if you want a really good detailed comparison between these specific straps and the Artem straps, um, you should check out um, the Canadian Watch Monkeys video. I'll link down to John's video on this in the description of this as well. And I recommend you check him out. So here's a quick in-studio wrist shot of the Tudor Pelagos equipped on this navy blue sailcloth strap from Strapsco. And uh, yeah, I think it's a really good combination. Um, it has conformed pretty nicely to the wrist as well. 
So let's quickly transition and talk about this Damasco DS30 with the olive green dial. It's the wind-up edition, and I think that this um, olive green sailcloth strap just pairs really nicely with any type of field watch or any type of mill spec watch in general. And uh, again, similar length and thickness, but um, this one is only a 20 millimeter lug width. And I'll mention you can actually get these straps in a number of different sizes. So as wide as 22 millimeters, but you can purchase them in 21, 20, and 19 millimeters. And uh, in terms of pricing, these straps are only 50 US dollars. And that's significantly less than a lot of other um, sale cost strap manufacturers out there right now. And again, you're getting fast and free shipping within North America. So let me throw uh, my Damasco DS30 on the wrist and uh, let me know what you guys think. So here's an in-studio wrist shot of a DS30 paired up with the olive green sailcloth strap from Strapsco. You can see down the barrel, again, this conforms very nicely as well and it's extremely comfortable. I really like the underside material of these straps. I'm not sure what it's made of, but it's very comfortable. And these are also extremely water resistant. And last but not least, uh, I just wanted to show you how this um, black sailcloth strap with a contrasting gray stitch pairs up nicely with my Longines Legend Diver. Again, uh, this is another 20 millimeter strap and you do have those quick release spring bars here. I will say um, you can get different color stitching and with the contrast gray, it really stands out and you can just see how detailed it is. The stitch work is actually quite good. And uh, these holes for the pin buckle are laser etched in and quite large. So you should be able to get a good fit no matter what your wrist size is as well. And here's a quick wrist shot of the Longines Legend Diver with this um, black and contrast gray stitch sailcloth strap. Again, really complements the dial on this one. And I think this is a really good choice if you're going to go with a dive watch. So in terms of what I like, um, I do really like the quality of the material used for the actual sailcloth. I find it durable and the backing on the underside is extremely comfortable. So that gets top marks. I will mention some potential points for improvement or what I should say are minor QC issues. And I think if you were to encounter these issues, if you contacted Strapsco, they would definitely look after you, so take that with a grain of salt. But uh, the first QC issue I will mention is related to this particular strap, um, the long portion of the black sailcloth. Uh, if I flipped it over, when I actually tried to install the, um, the strap onto the watch head, um, what you have between the quick release spring bar and the strap is a plastic sleeve and it was cut too long. So when I tried to actually fit it between the lugs, part of that plastic actually um, popped out and I couldn't actually get it to sit properly within the lugs of this watch. So I actually had to take some scissors and just cut away some of that plastic tube sleeve so um, the strap would actually fit properly. Now there's also another minor QC issue with this olive green sailcloth strap. Note that this floating keeper, you can see the stitched side is facing up and that's because um, part of the material tucked under the floating keeper started to uh, peel away when I was trying to pass the tail portion of a strap through these strap binders here. So all it took for me was just to take some leather glue and glue the pieces back together. I'll just show you a quick shot of that on my camera. but. Uh, I don't think it's a big deal and this didn't happen for any other the keepers for other straps but I just wanted to make you aware of that fact. And then let's quickly talk about this pebbled leather binder that um, has inserts to hold all of your straps. So this is actually a very convenient and good storage solution if you do have lots of straps on hand. Pricing for this pebbled leather binder is 99 US dollars. And I think a lot of that goes into the fact that this is very nice and supple leather and it's stitched together very well. But 
honestly, it's just like a three ring binder. And I think the innovation isn't so much the binder itself, but it's in these um, individual sleeves that can house 12 straps each. And it's kind of like a Ziploc feature at the top. So you can see there's some nice dividers here um, where you can put the straps in and then you can just zip lock them in place. So while I really appreciate and will be using this personally to store um, a lot of my straps, I think um, the price might be a little bit steep because I do know that the most of the innovation are these individual sleeves, which you might even be able to purchase separately. But if you really like the aesthetic um, of this pebbled leather, then this might be a good investment as well. It's actually kind of a nice surface to flat lay your watches too. So overall, I do like the quality of this um, strap holding binder, although the price is a little bit steep. So that's gonna about wrap up this review for these straps from Strapsco. I do wanna thank them again so much for sending these in to be reviewed on my channel. And hey, if you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a ton. And if you have any questions or concerns, please leave your feedback in the comments section of this review. And as always, I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one.